Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today I just want to explain number places again and then I want to explain how to round to the tenths place, the hundredths place, the thousandths place, etc, etc. So take a look at this number here. We've got 245,134.15876. If we start right here at the 4, the 4 here is occupying the ones position or the ones place. Next door here, the 3 is occupying the tens place. Next door to that, the 1 is occupying the hundreds place. The 5 would be occupying the thousands place. The 4 here would be occupying the ten thousands place. And the 2 here would be occupying the hundred thousands place. All right. If we take a look at the 1 here to the right of the decimal, this is occupying the tenths place. The 5 here would be occupying the hundredths place. The 8 here would be occupying the thousandths place. The 7 would be occupying the ten thousandths place. And the 6 here is occupying the hundred thousandths place. Okay, so let's take a look at a few examples where I ask you to round to the tenths place, the hundredths place, or the thousandths place. All right, it says to round the following numbers to the indicated places. So we've got the number 23.5647, and we want to round this to the hundredths place. The hundredths place is right here. The 6 is occupying the hundredths place, and we want to round to the hundredths place. So what we need to do is look one past the hundredths place. And if this number here is 5 or higher, we will raise this to a 7. If it's 4 or lower, we will leave this a 6. So when I ask you to round to the hundredths place, the answer to this would be 23.56. Let's take a look at the next one. In this next one, we've got 12.989567. And I'm asking you to round this to the thousandths place. Well, here is the tenths place, here is the hundredths place, and here is the thousandths place. So we want to round this answer to the thousandths place. So what we need to do is look one past the thousandths place to the ten thousandths place. If it's five or higher, I'm going to have to raise this. So in the ten thousandths place, we have a five or higher. I will have to raise this to a zero here, and I will ultimately have to change this to a nine. So if I round this number to the thousands place, I will end up with 12.990. 12.990, I've rounded this number to the thousands place. Let's take a look at the next example. I've got point, 0 0.3534, and I want to round this to the thousands place. So here's the tens, tenths place, here's the hundredths place, and here's the thousandths place. Right, we want to round to the thousandths place, so we look to the ten thousandths place. And if it is a four or lower, we're going to go ahead and leave this alone. So if I want to round this to the thousandths place, I will end up with 0 0.353. Let's take a look at this last one here. We have 34.567876, and we want to round this to the tenths place. The tenths place people is right here. The five here is occupying the tenths place. So I need to look one past the tenths place to the hundredths place and take a look. It's five or higher. Because this is five or higher, that means I'm going to have to round this five up to a six. And ultimately, my answer will be 34.6 if I'm asked to round to the tenths place. Okay? So I hope this is helpful. And I hope you can now apply the concept of rounding and the different number places to the uh, to the problems that you will work in my class